Mac. To Leagues 2, Trailblazer. If you look at my chat box, you might have an idea of what's going to happen right now. It's 99 Fletching. 250 points. Grab ourselves a Fletching Cape. Very cool. We can search it three times a day to get ourselves a free Mithril Grapple. And free Bronze Crossbow, I guess. So, that is interesting. Let's see if we can pawn these Bronze Crossbows off on this guy. Probably one of the few cases where Bronze Crossbows even exist. I can't imagine many people make bronze crossbows. But anyways, skill cape in the bank. We got lots of them. Oh, that doesn't work. Capes? Well, the obsidian cape isn't a skill cape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So we're missing three skill capes. The hit points one we can't get. Hunter and prayer. Next on the list, Hunter. Also, this is all the money we have left from Buying all the supplies to make 55,000 broad arrows. So. Barrows items. Dragon plate legs. Your time is up. Very soon. Very likely. But we'll see. Depending on how we do prayer. Hint. It's probably going to be blue dragons. We could just make a whole bunch of blue dehad bodies. We could also make... Rune stuff to Alk. There's options. There's options. I'm not concerned. That's why we keep buying the skill capes. Because I'm not concerned. But first, some monkey business. 500 laps. Over here at the Apatol Agility Course. And that means. I had the monkey on the entire time. I had the monkey on the entire time. Didn't think I had this with me. Okay, that's weird. I had the monkey on, and I was also a monkey. Where did the monkey go? I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to make it insane and wear it again for 100 league points. My hair is kind of hiding it, but it's super concerning, so that's okay. Don't think there is one for the zombie monkey, but we can try anyway. Nope. And we'll make him not be a zombie either. 1,500 and 2,000. So that is a thousand laps until the next monkey. But we'll probably do that. Not like I have anything better to do while not paying a lot of attention. There's points to be had here. And we'll have them. But now, it's time to get back to what we were really doing. The answer for Hunter is Herbivore. There are a lot of tasks to do with herbivore. Catching 100, 250, 500, and getting a torstal. This must be fairly rare to be worth 250 points. Or just might be the level requirements. Anyways, let's see how this goes. Should be good. Well, that was quick. We got the Torstal. 
on our seventh herbivore. Not going to complain. That is 250 of the easiest points we've ever gotten. Not going to lie. And then we just pop back to the bank here. Store all these herbs. A herb sack would be nice, but we have nowhere near enough slayer points for that right now. Ultimately, it might be a better idea to do this after we have the herb sack. But perhaps we will get to 99, and then we'll get that, and then we'll come back. I have not calculated how many herbivores are going to be to 99. So we're just here doing this. This was another thing where infinite run was super nice. Not having to worry about anything. Very good. 99 hunter. 250 points. And as per usual, we're gonna go buy the cape. Once I alk something. We are in dire cash straits right now. So continuing to purchase these skill caves is a thing I'm doing anyway. Let's go get it. Here we are with the hunting expert. I am also the hunting expert. You can tell by the way that it is. Hunter cape. Teleports you to the Felda Pills. Right over here. Apparently, only five times per day. For whatever reason. This one teleports you to your player own house, which can teleport you anywhere in the world infinite times. This one teleports you right next to a bank infinite times. But no, you can only come here five times a day. That'd be too powerful. Whatever. It's just going to be the way it is. We have, a, we have a lot of hoods. You can tell by the... Look, look at all our hats. And capes. We got capes. Oh boy, do we have capes. We have capes. We're one skill away from max. And we have 9k cash. And I'm not concerned. As far as Hunter's concerned... If we return to Herbivore, which is likely, 25 million XP is very much a thing that's going to happen. Or maybe we'll do something different. At any rate, there's one skill left, and that's Prayer. And I have a few ideas of other things we can get done while finishing this. First up, with prayer, we've got all of our fossils. And we did the whole weird enrichment thing. Now we can use it on the strange machine for just a whole bunch of XP. Look at, look at these XP drops. 8.2k. That's something. Overall, I'd say it's faster than the Ectofunctus. And we had them in the bank, so might as well make use of them. 89 prayer. But that is not all of them. That was just the small fossils. Grab out the medium and large. And these are going to be even larger XP drops, which I also appreciate. Those first ones were 8,000. These ones are 16. Yes. I like this. And how much are the large ones? They are, in fact, 24. Well, wish that would have doubled again, but that's okay. Still, that got us half of the way through that level. So I'd call that a win. We got dragon bones. 
that's going to be the majority of what we use. So we're just going to keep those for now. Next up, one other thing on Fossil Island. Now this is only loosely related to our prayer training, but it did drop me a wyvern bone. Anyways, we came here mostly for that task there of defeating an ancient wyvern. 100 points and one drop of wyvern bones. We'll slot that over here next to the dragon bones. But now we need to go get more wyvern bones, but from skeletal wyverns. Not because it's a fast way to train prayer, but we need granite legs, because that's another task. Also, they've got good drops, so I can't complain. Let's go get prayer experience and granite legs. And if we're insanely lucky, we could get a draconic visage. But I'm not, I'm not expecting that. Should be good stuff. Well, that didn't take long. Granite legs. Ah, oh, we don't have space for this wyvern kill, do we? Ah, now this one attacked me? Really? Really now? Well, fine. That's somebody else's problem now. Granite legs. They look amazing, and they're worth 50 points. We should go, we should go and pair this with our granite body. Look like an absolute lunatic. Granite body. Dwarven helm. Not, not a granite helm, but it's close. Beautiful. Beautiful. But now that that's done, we're gonna fight blue dragons instead. They have like half the HP that wyverns have. It's really not even a contest. So let's go. I think I'll use up these bones first to see where we're sitting. So I can more get an idea of how we're doing. Also, if we run out of prayer slowly while fighting the dragons, having more prayer points would be helpful. And this should be enough to get me to 90. So we're going to use up all of our bones and see where we're sitting before the real grind begins. And here is the first of four milestones towards the end here. 90 prayer and 90 base. 250 points. We are working our way through the bones that we already had. We've already used up the wyvern bones. But we have a good amount of dragon bones still. So that might now. Yeah, it's going to be close. We might get to 91. But. Either way, the prayer continues. We did manage to get 91 prayer. And at some point in here, we got to 125 combat. So that's one level to go. Ninety-one. Though it looks close to 99, is still less than halfway there. So we have so many dragons to kill. We're talking 1,467 dragons, if this math was correct. It's going to be something around there. There's little extra point XP's, so... Depending on how things work, you sometimes end up with slightly different amounts. Like the fractional decimal experience makes things a little awkward. But 
Overall, yes. 1400 and change. Blue dragons to slay. So exciting. Oh boy. Can't wait. Here we go. There is 25 million agility XP. Over here on Apatol. We're like halfway to the total amount we need for the next monkey backpack task. But this is fine. That is a good start. Now we can head back to killing blue dragons. So, so many blue dragons. Even with two times speed and instant banking and constant piety, that took a little bit. But here is 1467 dragon bones. We're up to 38 million in the melee XP. And we made a little bit of an adjustment to our gear just to save a bit of money. We're using the less good Derek's Helm and our Dragon Plate Legs. So, saving what money we can since we currently have 93,000 coins. But that's a problem for later. First up, we need to get all the buckets of slime. And I'm feeling like just doing this all in one big old trip. So we also need to get a thousand pots. With any luck, the Culinaromancer chest auto restocks. And we can just buy inventory after inventory of pots there. Alternatively, we might need to world hop a whole bunch. But we've done the, well, I'd call it the hard part, but this was also easy. This whole thing is very time consuming, even 16 times faster. So let's get to it, getting everything we need. Everything is ready. The bones, the pots, the slime. And now we get to have a real fun time grinding 1467 dragon bones at the Ectofunctus. This isn't going to be quick, but it's really easy, so I'm okay with it. All the bones are grinded. Took a little bit, very AFK. Now we just need to throw all this slime and all this bone meal into a weird altar thingy. But that's not the most important thing that's happened. I got the full zombie outfit. If that ain't fashion, I don't know what is. Love it. Also gonna love these prayer levels. Here is the second level that's of importance during this prayer grind. 95, which gives us 500 points for reaching base 95s. They really didn't need to add this one in since they had base 10s, but an extra 500 points on your way to max. I'm not gonna complain. This was always going to happen since we were going to max. 98 prayer gives us max combat 250 points. One level remains. And then this is going to look very nice. Well, we were off by one dragon bone. Based on all the decimals and nonsense. But that's not stopped us. Because we went the correct direction and got 99 prayer. And 
max. Two nice pop-ups. 750 points. Now we're going to go do that thing that we do where we purchase the skill cape. Even if it's not a good idea. These monks really need to do a better job about not letting zombies inside. I would say that's a poor decision. But here is the skill cape of prayer. This one acts like a holy wrench. So additional points from prayer potions and super stores. It's something. What a colorful inventory full of all these skill capes. Let's see if we can find the construction cape or the crafting cape and teleport out of here. But now there's one more cape we need to get. And it costs a lot more than two coins. So we're going to start by alking a few things. Namely, most of these capes that we don't need. We purchased them, and now we're going to get rid of them for half the price. Because we make good decisions. The max cape costs as much as all the skill capes combined. So when you get less than half of the money back on not all of the capes, it's not enough money. So we were going to start alking some other things in the bank. We alked a whole bunch of adamant and rune items, and it was down to alking various bits of gear that we didn't really need. But it looks nice in the tab, so I just went along and used up my rune bars making some rune items myself and out those. So we get to keep such things as a broken Torax helmet and dragon plate legs. These were the items that were on the line. And if we need more money for something else, these are the items that are on the line. Ultimately, I could alk all these and it would not be a problem. We've got duplicates, better items. It wouldn't be an issue. But for now, we're going to get the max cape. Pay the man. And there it is. It has all the features of all the other skill capes. Which might make you wonder why we have these capes down here still. Functionality. We go on the max cape. The option is teleports. Which opens up this in this extra box here to go to the Warriors Guild, Fishing Guild, Crafting Guild, Farming Guild, Autos Grotto, Chinchampas, Peewoach Portals. And then we would have to click this one to go to our home or one of the other ones. Alternatively, we can just teleport to the Crafting Guild or our house easily with these two. The fire making cape here only got to survive because you can't alk it. It's a light source, and apparently, things are spaghetti enough that they won't let you alk a light source. It would be a good teachable moment that you shouldn't alk light, light sources, but no, it's just not available. Emotes are here. Very cool. Oh, look at all these teleports. If you have it on your back, it gives you the Warriors Guild, Fishing Guild, Crafting Guild, POH, POH Portals, and other teleports button to go to Chinchampas or the Farming Guild. 
Man, that is that is awkward as all heck. And a features button. You can search it. Toggle the Ring of Life boost from the defense cape. Commune with it. Boost your stamina. We're gonna search it. We can get a pestle and mortar or a throw a grapple and crossbow. Combining 23 skill capes in one is pretty awkward. Also of note, we only managed to purchase 22 of the skill capes because hit points is in the desert. So for the first time, we get access to the hit point skill cape boost of double regen, which will stack with our four times regen and our regen bracelet. If we want to regen some hit points, we've got that completely under control. But now that we're maxed, it's time to make use of one of our relics for a lot more points. Currently sitting at 38,590. Let's get that way up with a little thing I call, well, everybody calls it clue scrolls. Next time. In Trailblazer. Goodbye.